So one of the things that I'll expect when you're developing new programs is that you'll plan the program before you actually write it. Now, I know this is a crazy philosophy to actually think about what you're gonna do before you do it, um, but give it a shot. It works. Um, I had a boss that used to say all the time, you know, it's like building a house with no blueprint, right? You just go in there, you have them deliver a bunch of wood and you start nailing things together. Um, and uh, pretty soon you're taking things apart because it didn't work the way you thought. And so programming's kind of the same way. So I invite you to plan first. Um, and in some cases you'll be required uh, as part of an assignment. So let's take a look at the problem we're gonna solve here. Let's, uh, let's make this easy to read here. So I'm gonna write a program that asks the user for their name and then prints their name out on the screen. Now, I want you to not worry about the code, right? This is where you don't need to know anything about programming. You just need to think about the parts and pieces. All right, well, I know I wanna ask user for name. Right, that's the first thing I'm probably gonna need. All right, and then I'm gonna print it out on screen. And then as I learn a little bit more about programming, I may discover, oh, there's, there's actually more that has to happen here. All right, well, after I ask the user for a name, I actually am gonna accept input from the keyboard. Right, and then print the name on the screen so I can change my number. Now number, don't number, that's up to you. I'm just doing it so it's clear to you as we're working through it. And then as I learn a little bit more, I may realize, oh, there's actually more that has to happen there. After I accept the, them from the keyboard, I actually have to assign input to variable. And then print the name on the screen. All right. Now, that may seem pretty simple, and you'd probably think to yourself, well, I could write that. I don't need to plan it out first. Um, let me tell you from, from personal experience, um, it may be true that you don't need to write it out for this little bit of code, but since you don't know until you plan a program how much code is going to be involved, um, having this roadmap is helpful. I will tell you, I can spend a lot of time typing a program. Uh, and if I don't plan it first, it usually takes me, well, let's say for a short program, the sort of thing you guys will write, it may take me 20 minutes if I don't plan it, right? So I start typing and I was, oh, oh yeah, I needed that. And, oh, oh yeah, I need to do that. And then that, oh, that changes this. Um, oh crap, and that makes this different. And, and so pretty soon I've invested, you know, an hour in a program that should have taken me 10 or 15 minutes uh, because 45 minutes of that hour was spent fixing things that I hadn't taken into account when I started writing my program. So you can avoid a lot of that by writing this stuff out in pseudocode, just thinking through the steps. Don't even worry about programmatically what has to happen until you figure those things out. And then as you learn more about programming, you will cover more of these steps. From this list, I could write that code in, well, as quickly as I could type, which is not very fast. <laughs> maybe 20 seconds. Um, but I invested a little time at the beginning to make sure I knew the steps I needed to take first. And I cannot underscore this enough. Where most students struggle, even the ones that successfully pass the course, where most students struggle is when these programs start getting more complicated, they don't know where the problems are, right? And they're not following um, the examples I give, and I will be giving you some really, really direct explanations of how you should write your code. And what happens is nobody does what I tell them because I'm just the teacher, what can I know, right? Um, this is one of those things. If you invest a little time just doing a simple plan of what you think needs to be accomplished and using that as your notes to start, you will automatically save more time programming than you spent writing out the plan, right? So when I talk about planning with pseudocode, that's what I'm talking about, just writing out the steps. And most of the projects I'll give you, I'm actually gonna give you a lot of the steps, but you're gonna need to fill in the, 
the places where it's where they, they don't tell you what to do. So I might say, ask user for a name, and you know, but then you got to figure out, oh, what am I doing with that name later? Those kinds of things, right? So start this habit early. I promise you. I promise. I promise. I promise. I've been doing this forever. It will save you time as you're learning to program to go ahead and just come up with a little bit of a plan.